Hey everyone, it's Carla and I am back with another unboxing video. This is part two of mystery shoe unboxing from Jomar. I purchased a um, buy one get one two box deal um, on 20 pairs of mystery shoes. Um, supposed to be like maybe some high end designers but mostly like middle of the road mall brand kind of things. Um, I was pretty happy with my other box. There were a lot of sneakers and ones that I had to clean, ah, which is going to take some time. But um, Magic Eraser should take care of most of it. If you have any tips on cleaning sneakers, please drop them down below. Um, but I'm going to try and uh, clean them and I'm sure give up on some of them. <laughs> um, so I'm hoping that this one is good. I got a couple of really exciting pieces in my last box, so I'm hoping there's a little less sneakers. And it looks like there are. Yes, I do not see that many sneakers like the last box, so that is good. I ordered them at the same time since it was a BOGO deal, so I'm hoping, you know, maybe that's why they gave me some variety. All right, first up. I'm happy about these. Some Saludos. I've sold some of their wedges before. I know that their flats don't do as well, so these are used. But um, I know some of their flats don't do as well, but size nine. Actually, these, I, these aren't used, I don't think. They've got marks, but they're still stuffed. And the upper is in good condition. I don't know. I don't know. But they're cute and fairly new. Some more espadrille, espadrille, or they're called like, this is called like jute, J-U-T-E. These are, never heard of this before. Whoa, what was this? Uh, Manebi. Never heard of it, but they look pretty new on the bottom, but here they're dirty for sure, but they're suede. They've got like a marking there with a logo, I guess. No idea on the size. Oh, size 39, made in Spain. Yeah, but see they say jute on the bottom. So a little dirty looking, but eh, nothing too bad. Okay, lots of espadrilles. I need to get these listed while it's still summer. It's definitely still summer here in North Carolina. This says Elise Walker, Los Angeles. Never heard of it. It's hard to see. Sorry, my lighting is not good, but I don't feel like using my ring light. Um, the upper is a little dirty, but that's fine. Size 39, all leather made in Spain. So I'm thinking that it's a good brand. They're a little dirty, but some suede brush should hopefully, hopefully help take it out. More espadrille jutes. These are denim saludos. So I, I think I'll probably end up being able to sell these for like 25 bucks. Size seven. More summer wedge espadrille type shoes. Okay, these are, I've never sold this brand actually, um, but this is Vera Wynn. So I'm not sure. Um, I think comps for her are all over the place, but these are really cute and used but seem to be in good condition. These are a size 10. Like the actual leather is in good condition. And these are really pretty, so. And this is not like, it's not um, Simply Vera, which is like her mall brand level. Um, it's not super high end, but I think this is just her standard line, so. Some new with tag forever 21 pom-pom frilly something <laughs> yeah so, that's cute they're cute 
you know, tags. So they'll sell. Uh, it looks like they originally retailed for $27.90. So I'll probably list them at $20. See what happens. Woo! Soul Sauna. Never heard of it. But they're cool. I don't think it's very expensive. But size 40. Worn. But they are pretty cool. At first glance, it does not seem like they are missing any studs, which is good. Especially if they're not like an excellent brand. Yeah, they seem kind of cheap, but Soul Sauna. Let me know if you've heard of it. Next up. Oh, I think I've heard. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> Never mind. It's just Brighton. <laughs> but they're K. So I'm guessing that's the style. Very outdated, but, you know, everything will sell to somebody at some point. <laughs> um, never heard of this brand, but it certainly seems Italian. This says Pan Caldi. Um, it says 1888, and they're like these snakeskin flats loafers. Ugh, they're kind of gross inside, but they seem to be vintage. Um, size 37. I say that as though I actually know anything about vintage. Got some Echoes. Never sold this brand, but I have heard that I can sell well, but I'll have to do my own research. Fairly new. Nothing crazy, but it's a good comfort shoe, it seems. The mountain of shoes down here. <laughs> um, public Desire. Never heard of it. Definitely just hurt myself on this heel. But these are like some black suede. Maybe they're suede. I don't know if it's genuine. Simple heels. A size 5. So very small size. They are worn but in very good condition so let me know if you've heard of public desire sorry some loafer heels Zaina Buchman Buckman probably is actually how you say it nothing too exciting brand wise but um, they're cute they seem comfortable so hopefully they'll still sell um, they do seem to have like a thing on the back. Sold at Kohl's. It's covering the sides. Ah, that's annoying. Um, yeah. I'm not sure. Ugh, these are dirty. Dirty Steve Madden heels. I'm going to donate these. These are gross. Like, it's very, the suede is very dirty. And for shoes that are cool, but probably not going to get me much money clean, don't feel like cleaning them. J. Crew Factory Sandals. Simple, but cute. Maybe 10 bucks. Size 8. Ah, I've heard of this before. I think I've found it once, but I've never picked it up. Um, I think it's a comfort brand, but it's Geox. Um, yeah, torn up right there. So, probably won't get much for them. Um, seems like they'd sell on eBay, so probably won't list them very high. Got a couple more pairs. Okay, I've sold this brand before. I actually got this brand in a Thread Up Rescue Box. Monroe. Actually seemed to sell pretty quickly for me. So, it's like a comfort shoe brand. It's got a shock absorbing heel. Um, size 6. So, cute. They're cute. Some sneakers. Reeboks. 
These are cute though. Definitely used and kind of dirty, but some pink satin Reeboks. Cute, 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 cute. I think I said cute a lot. Um, six and a half. Some Nike Converse style shoes. Suede is very dirty. Um, if I wasn't so scared of doing it, I would do the Southern Stones like tip where she like puts lighter fluid. No, she doesn't put lighter fluid. She puts like an aerosol spray and then just like lights the whole thing on fire to get rid of like the nubbies. Um, but I'll take a lighter to it for a little bit, but I'm not going to bother too much with that unless they're really good. So mango, I think that's what this stands for. MNG. I don't know if it's different from the brand mango. I don't even know where said brand is sold, but whatever. I know that it's not amazing. So they're like these lace up flats. That's the brand. Sorry, it's dark. Last, but probably not least. I don't know if these are Birkenstock knockoffs or if they're rando good brand similar, but it says Shoe the Bear Copenhagen, size 37, and they are that Birkenstock kind of style, but I'm not sure if they're connected to Birkenstock brand, so I thought they're cute. So... That's everything. Gotta do some research. If you know anything about any of these shoes, drop it down below. Let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you want. Subscribe if you want. If not, that's cool too. Um, yeah, I need to clean these shoes and get them listed so I can accommodate the 20 pairs of shoes that I bought yesterday when their mystery shoes came back up. Not BOGO, but still. So, yeah, let me know what you think. Bye, guys.